Hey folks, welcome back. You're watching TechKey, and today we have another session of Power Query tutorials. Today we'll be looking at the conditional replace feature and how you can utilize an alternative way to manipulate columns, but not with creating a new custom column, but rather adjusting your current column. So the use case we have today is that we have a category of chocolates. And we want to break down the chocolate uh, column by different categories based off of the price. So as you can see in our data set, there's two different types of chocolates. One that is a more expensive brand, which is $2.99, and the lesser uh, price of $1.99. So we want to break it down further, separating the chocolates by price. So I'll be showing you how we normally do this by creating a custom column, writing a conditional, and then the alternative solution, which is to do a conditional replace. So let's go into Power Query Editor and see how we can do that. So normally, you cannot simply just use the replace values. And I'll show you why. Because if you replace chocolate with something else, it will simply just replace all instances of chocolate. And that's because you don't want to do that. We want to break it down by the unit cost. And doing this method, you're simply replacing all of the values. So that is not correct. So the first solution is to create a new column. So we're gonna call this item two, and then we're going to bring in the item, which is the category. And if this is equals to chocolate, and the unit cost is 1.99. Then we're gonna call this mm, cheap chocolate. Uh, else if, else if the item is chocolate and it is 2.99, then we're gonna call it something else. So if this is chocolate and then this is the price is 2.99, we're gonna call this fancy chocolate. <laughs> And then otherwise, if it's neither of those, we're just simply gonna call it item because it will bring in the values from the item column if the conditionals for the first two are met, not met. And obviously when you're writing this, you need to include each if, otherwise it's not gonna work. So what do we have? So if you look at this column, let's we'll bring it over, make it easier. So as you can see, item versus item two. Every instances of chocolate the cheaper brand of $1.99 has been categorized as cheap chocolate and the higher price, $2.99, has been called a fancy chocolate. And if it's not one of those, it simply retains its original value. So that's normally how you would solve this with, by creating a new custom column. But what if you don't want to do that? Let's say your data set is huge and you're using the old um, column being referenced by a lot of other things so you don't want to delete this and rename this as extra steps right so we're not going to do this instead we're going to use a conditional replace so we're going to go here and we're going to transform and we're going to utilize the replace uh, data again and replace values we're going to replace instances of chocolate except we're going to write the conditional here and we'll show you if this works or not. So what do we have? If each item equals the chocolate and unit cost is that, then cheap chocolate. Else if $2.99, we're going to call it fancy chocolate. And then again, if it's none of those, then we just call it item. So what happens? Well, when you write this formula out, because the replace values, it's not meant to be used like this. You're not actually supposed to be using a con conditional replace. That's not how it's intended to be used. So when you write this out, it actually gets messed up. But we can fix this, right? So if you look at this, all of the syntax is actually messed up and they've inserted extra quotation marks where there shouldn't be. So we get rid of these and then it starts to look a little bit better, but you still need to fix these quotation problems. I don't know why Microsoft hasn't fixed this, but it's a bug, so you need to fix this in order for this logic to actually work. But once you fix all of the syntax quotation problems, this will work. 
So let's read this again. If chocolate and it's $1.99, call it cheap chocolate. Otherwise, if it's chocolate and it's $2.99, call it fancy. And otherwise, if neither of those, just return item. And that's it. So there we go. That's how you would do a conditional replace in the Power Query uh, space where you can control the values in any column based off of a reference of a different column. As we can see, all instances of chocolate has been replaced by either cheap or fancy depending on the price of the chocolate. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hope you like, subscribe, and tune in in the future for more Power Query tutorials. All right, I'll see you next time.